But I just wanted to say out loud, you know, I went through a little bit of a weird, interesting experience on social media with somebody who I thought I was cool with, but clearly something had happened in the, in between the years that we had not spoken or face to face, spoken face to face or even on the internet, which maybe led them to be in a position where they're like, now fuck that guy or I'm not bothered. Something happened. I don't know what happened because I don't remember things. Um, most of my youth was spent in a drunken ketamine filled blur. So maybe something happened in between time that I probably wasn't aware of, but regardless, um it seems like something occurred because the relationship changed right in the in the sense that she this person or she see i made it slip already didn't want to fuck me at all as in like you know a friend it's nothing you know nothing more than that it's just a friend thing or even an acquaintance thing but this person clearly gave me the impression that they wanted nothing to do with i right which to me was like shocking i'm like i couldn't under believe it i'm like me i'm super awesome why couldn't you want to talk to me which obviously is a form of narcissism a form of you know ego and just really probably a gross thing to even say out loud but i'm being honest and being upfront with you guys so please forgive me but in general they gave me the impression that hey i don't really want to mess with you leave me alone which is completely understandable so i decided to leave them alone packed away did other things cleaned up any evidence of me ever being there and just slipped away but it also made me think to myself you know what right no one owes you an explanation i think that's what some people need to kind of get through their head no one owes you an explanation life isn't fair and sometimes stuff happens that's out of your control that you have no business even trying to get back into your control or you don't have any business trying to correct it just happens it goes away it goes and you just have to deal with the consequences as they come but this idea that everyone is meant to treat you fairly you're meant to get a fair crack of the whip you're meant to have an opportunity to say your piece to basically defend yourself to maybe have a counter argument no life doesn't work out that way life isn't a movie sometimes shitty things happen to you and you just have to suck it up and just keep more moving or you're going to be end up being depressed, you're going to end up being downtrodden, end up like not wanting to wake up in the morning, all these weird things will end up happening to you. So I think most of the time in life, we have to kind of get to that point where we start, you know, being a little bit honest with ourselves and saying to ourselves, you know what, maybe I'm not as amazing as I think I am in my head. Because I think sometimes, especially with people like myself, um, I've got that weird duality in my personality in that I like to be a people pleaser. Like I want people to like me, but I'm also very much... um or I say I, I'm also quite distant in like my relationships wise in terms of friendship I tend to not really keep a close group of friends with me I don't really keep up with people apart from maybe couple I don't really maintain relationships or cultivate them in any way short shape or form but with strangers or with people that I've met over the years I try to kind of make everyone like me try to be a dancing monkey and obviously sometimes some people can just be over you they can be like you know what i'm done that was a period in my life that was fun but now i'm in this stage and i don't want to be reminded of that period by just looking at you so fair enough i get it but in my head it's always an exercise of trying to get someone to like you now i don't know if that's because when i was younger i moved schools quite a bit because we moved sometimes when i'm in my formative years so maybe i've always been performing for people and i've always kind of felt like i had to kind of um gain the respect or the love of people through making them laugh and making them entertained or whatnot or thinking i'm a cool dude or whatnot oh, he's funny da, 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 da. i don't know something there's something probably there but in general i think we have to kind of be okay with just allowing allowing those moments to be moments in your life like i think that's something i've kind of slowly but surely got to the point of doing and i think i have to thank the other person who told me flat out hey i don't want to be your friend anymore because i think that was a point where i kind of woke up to the fact that i need to get to the point where i start accepting moments where i start telling myself okay this chapter in my life was great it was amazing but there's no need to go back and revisit just have it as a memory leave it as a time capsule leave it as something that you might visit in the flipping museum halls of your memory but it doesn't need to go revisit you don't need to go back to it and kind of try and relight that flame because more often than not it doesn't happen if it does happen organically like for instance there have been times where some weird serendipity happened right where one of my major um sort of like i think monumental influential parts of my life was when i went to nicaragua to visit one of my friends and end up doing a bit of traveling around there going on my own for a bit it was kind of my first sort of holiday on my own properly right kind of traveling so sort of, sort of doing the backpacking thing and i met some really cool dudes out there in hostels and stuff cool girls people just nice right it's a great environment and a lot of those people i'm still friends with now on social media and whatnot we keep up each other here and there but this one guy who I kind of got really I got along with really well, this Australian dude, um, we just got on, we bounced off each other, da 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 da. And then randomly, out of nowhere, randomly, right? I'm in Berlin somewhere, 
and I bump into him in the streets as I'm walking. I don't know where I am. I'm going somewhere to buy some drinks. I don't know what I'm doing. But I just happened to bump into him randomly in the streets on a random weekend of Berlin that I happened to be there. And again, I was lucky because obviously he lived there at the time. But those sort of things happen sometimes organically. But you can't force those things. You can't be the kind of person like, oh, hey, I met you 10 years ago. I'm coming to whatever now. Do you want to meet up? It's like, no, that doesn't work that way. Sometimes you just got to let things just, you know exist how they want to exist so slowly but surely i've kind of come to grips with that sort of thing but it's been hard to wrangle because like i said deep down even though i'm a loner and even though i don't care about people for the most part like i have this weird switch where i can just turn it on and turn it off i do also like to i do also like to be liked which is an odd complex it's an odd sort of personality to have right on one end you don't care about people and you don't have a group of friends really for the most part i might know people but i won't call them any of my any of my friends and i'm sure they wouldn't call me their friend either because i don't really check into them on their birthday i don't know their mum's name yeah i mean we probably haven't shared a meal probably haven't seen each other outside of nighttime like those people are not really your friends right your friends are people you actually cultivate a relationship with over time you share stuff with da, 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 da. you go through things together with maybe you go through ups and downs but those sort of ones i'm talking about they're more like acquaintances that you might meet in like nightlife or just around when you just kind of navigating through whatever life you're going through but i feel like over time it can get a bit hard to do that sort of thing to kind of just let go and allow the situation to allow the moment to be what it is and then move on because i think what happens is that the older you get the more you start to realize how important friends are right especially especially once your family circle starts to decrease because when you're younger your family is basically everything it's your whole life you don't know anything else apart from your family and the kids you hang around in your area the older you get you start to grab onto other experiences other ways of existing other relationships other friendships that suddenly your family becomes a little bit not say more less significant but it doesn't play as a, a crucial part in your day-to-day as it did when you were younger younger because of course you survived on your parents to keep you alive right to basically have you fed you know hydrated you know flipping with a roof over your head that's really important but the moment you start to look after yourself it becomes a bit less but then you also reach a weird point where suddenly it then reverts back to it again because then you start to lose those friends who you kind of ditched your parents for or your family for because they then move on with their life or they you know some pass away unfortunately and then suddenly you're back kind of back to square one a little bit you're sort of like okay back home because i've seen i've seen that a lot with my other friends who i grew up with in the area that i'm from right I've seen a lot of them revert back to hanging around with the same people that we went to school with when a few years ago they were all with other people right they were hanging out with people from university people that they went people that they worked with in their first graduate job people they worked with at their first job people friends of their wives friends of their baby mothers that was who you saw them with but then now that we've got to this other stage in life it seems like everyone's reverting back to those old school friends because at heart those are basically your family because they know you since you were like 12 13 whatever it may be so they actually know you properly they don't know this like they don't know the reinvented version of you they know you to your core and you know them to their core so the friendship's a lot more deeper a lot more probably um uh a lot more significant i don't know whatever that means right so i don't know i guess i'm at a point now where i'm i'm so excited to realize that number one no one owes you an explanation as to why they don't want to talk to you anymore number two assuming that people want you in their lives again after you haven't been in their lives for many many years is a form of narcissism and it's also you kind of flexing and showing that your ego is out of control as if people are meant to put their lives on pause and allow the door to be slightly ajar so then you can come in whenever you want that's not how it works out and also people move on and it's just that is it they just move on and it's okay they can move on there's obviously other things to it you can be like oh they're maybe hey and something happened because for sure with me i wouldn't be surprised if the reason why this person was a little bit you know distance with me or kind of gave me the cold shoulder probably had to do with something i said or something i did when i was fucked up i'm pretty sure about it i'm pretty sure because usually the things that get me in trouble are when i get myself too mashed up right and i do or say things that i probably really regret so i'm definitely sure i definitely did something in that scenario that messed it up but it's probably gone too far it's the time is too much time has elapsed for there to be any sort of reconciliation for there to be a kind of sit down and if, it doesn't matter anymore because you know they go on with their life i go on with my life no one really gives a shit i mean if she gets hit by a bus tomorrow i won't drop it i won't drop a tear same thing with me right if if somebody flipping attacks me with a flipping pit bull you know i mean she won't cry that i don't have a face i'm sure it is what it is but I think it's difficult to do. It's difficult to kind of come to grips with when you get older, like I said, because your friendship circle 
really becomes significantly smaller because you don't really have anyone around you because everyone's living their lives because they're not no not everyone wants to live the lifestyle i want to live i don't live i don't live the lifestyle they want to live their different parts of their life whatever journey da, 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 you know what i mean so it just kind of moves on so you have to be able again maybe i'll talk, talk to myself about this but just talking aloud as well if you are a people pleaser like i am sometimes you have to be able to let go of people when they don't want to be pleased and if you're somebody who tries to relight flames or tries to, you know, um, go back to a moment in time, don't, it never works out. It's sort of like getting back with your ex. Yeah, you might have a couple makeup sessions here and there, but for the long term, you broke up for a reason. Do you know what I mean? And just revisiting like that in that kind of way, in that kind of wishy-washy, dash and rap, you know, smash and dash way, it kind of is a bit gross and you end up kind of feeling worse about yourself than you did before you met them again. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes it's good just to kind of cold distance it completely go through all that depression all that sadness and then sort of build from there and go from there but this kind of whole relighting thing relighting re, re, revisiting relighting flames it's a no-no it really is and like i said before expecting people to wait for you in terms of friendship and like be like oh hey here you are again after 10 years after eight years it's like it's a little bit cocky i mean it's a little bit arrogant um so you're a little bit full of yourself if you think that people are legitimately going to wait for you in that way they're not and they shouldn't because you know they've got lives to live themselves so 